Hey everybody, this is Frilly and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm just going to show you how to do the Mark IV version of my automatic AFK fish farm. Now, this really, it's an aesthetic change really from the Mark III version. Um, but uh, I've read your comments and, and they were fantastic. Thank you for that. I really appreciate everybody for putting comments and watching the video. It's been, been awesome reading them all. But a lot of you have mentioned that the Mark III looked a little bit like a barrel fishing in a barrel or a bathtub uh, so I thought you know what it does a little bit but it could look even more like a barrel or a bathtub so that's what I've done here so just to run you through the iterations of all the fish farms we have this one the mark one the first one where you cast against the you just this sort of the the slab you cast against the pressure plate uh, the iron trap door at the back lifted up you cast against a note block and that allowed you to AFK fish, but because the note block and the the pressure the uh, iron trapdoor took a tick or so to raise, sometimes you were casting and casting and casting and casting, and the trapdoor would go up and come down and go up and come down. So I changed it, it. I changed it to this version, which was affectionately called the the Scorpion Fisher, which I think is brilliant. It's a brilliant name. Sorry to whoever came up with that name first. Uh, but uh, because it's lost in all the comments, but thank you, it's, it's brilliant. And that allowed you to stand here, cast against the pressure plate, and then the pressure plate would go down, and then you'd be casting against the note block, and it didn't. you didn't need a trap door, um, which, uh, which was brilliant, which neg negated the, the one-tick delay and meant that it worked in 99.9% .9 of servers because there was no lag, there was no delay there. However... You needed a note block, which meant you needed redstone, which meant you had to go digging for redstone, uh, which is not something, as I mentioned, that is left lying around willy nilly. So then we came up with this version. Looking kind of familiar, looking kind of similar to that one now, but it uses a stair here and you can't you stood against the stair. You cast against the uh, the uh, pressure plate looking at there it is looking at the um, armor stand. So the pressure plate goes down. You are then casting against the armor stand, which means that now you're not automatically casting. Remember with this one, with the note block, you were trying to tune the note block. So you can see the fishing rod is going mental. It's not actually doing any damage to your fishing rod. It just looks a bit ungainly, doesn't it? Whereas with this one, you don't. You look at the top of the pressure plate cast. There you go. No movement at all. How easy is that? Well, this just... This really expands on that uh, in that we remove the, the, the stair, we replace it with a waterlogged uh, trap door and we replace the, the chests with a barrel because you put fish in a barrel, don't you? Come on, fish in a barrel. So, they, they, so now you stand on top of the barrel, you look at the back of the pressure plate, you cast against the uh, the the, uh, the pressure plate now you're casting against the armor stand at the back and bingo and it works exactly the same way come on give me a fish because i've got a pants rod it's going to take 45 seconds to catch a fish but the more you fish the the better rods you're going to get combine your better rods there you go and i've got i've got a name tag already look at that fantastic so the more you fish the better rods you're going to get you combine them on an anvil get a mending look of the c3 lure 3 rod and then you can afk fish for days now to make this work even better this water source block here needs access to the sky and it needs access to rainfall so when you're fishing and it's raining and the rain is falling onto that uh, that water block there, you'll get even better rates and better catches. Now, you don't have to be outside. Uh, you can be completely undercover. But this, this block here, that water block there, needs to have access to rainfall. So you're going to be safe from phantoms and bad guys. However, the uh, you'll get the best rates. So anyway, what you need for this bad boy, really simple. You'll need eight wooden trap doors. You can... Any, any wooden trap doors will be fine. You're going to need a wooden fence post, which goes in there. You're going to need a wooden pressure plate. Any wooden pressure plate will do. You might get away with using a, 
uh, an iron or a gold pressure plate, but they just wouldn't fit in with the theme, would they? Uh, but you certainly wouldn't get away with a stone pressure plate. That won't work because the bobber won't force the stone pressure plate down. Only an entity walking on a stone pressure plate forces it to go down, uh, which is why it has to be, really has to be a wooden one. You're going to need a an armor stand, which goes in there. You're going to need water, an infinite water source, uh, probably a river or make yourself an infinite water source. Uh, infinite water sources are easy to make. I'm sure you know how to make one, but you're going to need three water source blocks in there. You're going to need a barrel or you can't really have a chest because if you have a chest, you actually stand a little bit too low. And then it's more difficult to see the armor stand at the back. So it really does need to be a barrel. Also, barrels are cheaper to make. You only need six wooden planks and two slabs for a barrel you need eight wooden planks for a chest so these are slightly cheaper to make you're going to need a hopper down there and you're going to need ye old favorite fishing rod now early game this is going to be pants but as i mentioned you will get much better rates uh, you will get much better rods uh, as you afk fish so let's find somewhere to build this bad boy hopefully you're not bored of fishing by now fish is here forever so I think we'll stick it here. So what you need to do first is grab your eight uh, trap doors, wooden trap doors, and you need to put them, put three of them there, go around the other side, put three of them like that, and then stand in the middle, put one there and one there, and then you can open them all, and you've got your little bathtub. Okay? Now you want to go to the end where you want your... Uh, your barrel to be and you need to dig out that block there put in your barrel and then dig out the block that's on the inside take out your hopper crouch and put a hopper there like that alrighty and then you can dig out that block there that's where your uh, armor stand is going to go now you won't be able to put an armor stand in there okay because of that trap door all right and if you uh, and if you put the armor stand in there first and then try to put the trap door there, you wouldn't be able to put a trap door. All right. So you need to put your trap door. Uh, sorry, you need to put your armor stand there. Put it in the middle and then grab yourself some water. Uh, you might need to crouch and then put a water source block on that hopper. And that's going to force it into that hole. Like that. All righty. So far, so good. Now, take out your uh, take out your wooden fence post and put your wooden fence post in the middle like that and now what you want to do is take out some more water and standing at the front you want to look at your fence post and put another water source block there like that that's going to waterlog the fence post okay this is still a water source block that is now a water source block but it's not allowing water to flow over there because of that trap door now you need to waterlog that trap door okay so grab your water bucket you'll need to crouch look at the trap door and this is going to be quite difficult actually because that the armor stand is in the way so jump up on top but you're gonna to have to crouch and try and waterlog that trap door there you go so if you stood up on the top if you look at the top of the trap door and crouch because if you don't crouch you'll just open the trap door so crouch right click and you're going to put some water in there now that is that you've now got three water source blocks of water now you can put back uh, now you can put on your uh, your pressure plate now don't think you've done that you're not done there okay stop don't do anything you're not done if you go around the front now and try and stop fishing and i don't know why it does it but the your bob will go over the top of the fence post and it will hit the uh, the armor stand and within a couple of throws your rod will break okay i don't know why it does it but if you can't see the top of your armor stand and there you can clearly we can't see the top of the armor stand. If you can't see it, don't stand here casting because if you do. That's going to happen. And all you're doing is casting against your 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 bobber is hitting the armor stand and you're trying to pull the armor stand towards you. And as you can see, my rod is half broken already. OK, so don't do that. So what you need to do now to fix that is to come around the back and open that trap door. 
All right, so you've opened the trap door. It's now forced your armor stand to flow right to the very back. And then you can close your trap door again. Now, if you stand here, you can actually see the top of the armor stand. And now if you aim at the trap door, at the pressure plate, just right at the very back where the armor stand is, and you now cast, your bob doesn't go over the fence post. And because your bob doesn't go over the fence post, it means you're not casting now against the armor stand. So your, your rod will take longer to break because you're actually, it'll only use, it'll only use your ability now when you're fishing. But it's really, really, really important that you do that. Really important that you open that and allow the uh, armor stand to flow right to the very back. If you don't, you're going to break your fishing rod. And I'm going to get loads of comments saying, oh, it froze, this is rubbish, it breaks my fishing rod. That's why. Okay, make sure your armor stand is all the way to the back. And then stand at the front, look right at the uh, at the pressure plate just above. Let's just get rid of that. Look at the pressure plate just where the armor stand is and then cast and you are golden. Now you can use the, uh, the F3T trick and the F3P trick. Press F3 and P, F3 and P and that will pause on lost focus and you want that to be disabled so you want the pause on lost focus disabled you can now do the f3 and t trick i'm not going to show you how to do that again i've shown you how to do that in the the first three uh first three tutorials and i'm sure you'll have got bored by that already but uh, if you're casting like that and you press f3 and t you will reload your resource pack and then you can go completely afk so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Mark IV of the Automatic Fish Farm. And this couldn't be any simpler. And it couldn't be built any earlier on in game either. All you need is a, is a fishing rod, so you'll need a couple of bits of string and, and some wood, really. Uh, and uh, you're, you're probably going to need some stone slabs as well, which, uh, which you should be able to get, hopefully, early game. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode, everybody. If you have, please don't forget to leave it a like. And if you've really loved it, don't forget to subscribe for future tutorials. This is Frilly Off, and I'm out of here.